Welcome to Addicted to Cricut. Today I'm going to bring you another Cricut tutorial, one that a lot of people have been asking for, and I get this question on my Addicted to Cricut Facebook group weekly, I would say, and that's about how to convert an image or a picture into an SVG file that you can cut on your Cricut. It isn't difficult, especially if you follow the steps that I'm going to give you, but here's the thing, not all pictures are going to be perfect for this, and the only way that you're going to know is by trial and error. So you can upload a picture, see if you like it. If you don't, then move on to the next picture. So let's get going. First of all, I use um, a website called PicSVG. You can see it right here, uh, PicSVG.com. And it's a free site, so just... I don't even save it, I just pull it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna upload a picture and you're gonna do that right here. And I am gonna pull up this one. This is a picture of me when I was a little girl. Um, is it done? Looks like it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it does it. Here's the original and here is the SVG, which personally I don't like the look of this, but thankfully we can change the filters. If you look right here, I usually always change it to strong and I always change it to ready one. Now look at it. That's much better, right? Much better. Okay, so now all we do is download the SVG, okay? which I have already done. That's it, you guys. But here's the deal. You can play around with this. I mean, I can go out here and pull up my family pictures and, you know, pull up all kinds of different things. Let's see if I can find my family pictures really quick. Of course, I'll never be able to because you guys are right here. Here we go. So, I mean, I can pull up all kinds of things. Let's see what this one looks like. These are my grandparents. Okay, doesn't look bad. Let's change the filters to strong and ready one. Looks pretty good. I like that one too. Um, it's a little dark in some of the areas, but I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna download that, save it as an SVG, and basically it just pulls it off and makes it into this picture. I'm gonna right click on this image and I'm gonna save it as, and I'm gonna tell it where to save it and it's going to save it as an SU SVG document which it's going to look like this okay so I'm going to name this mom and pop because that's what I called them okay so let's now go to Cricut as you can see I already have my little girl up here so let's get rid of her and I'm going to show you how you're going to upload her and really it's the same way that you always upload you're going to go right here to the upload icon you're going to go to Upload Image, then you're going to go to Browse and you're going to find it where you saved it on your computer. I saved it right here, and I always save, say Complex, you know that, and I'm going to click the background. Actually, you know what? This isn't right. This is not the right image. I need to go back out, and I need to do this one right here because that's the SVG. And do you see, do you notice the difference? Now all of my background is gone. I don't have to work on cleaning it up. As you can see, I've uploaded it several times in pre preparing. Wait a minute. Boop. Go back. Click it and click down here. I'm okay. Okay. So now it's on your canvas. Now you can resize it. You can change it if you don't like all the black or you want to make that smaller. Or if you don't like these little specks here, can you see all my little specks? You can change that too. Basically what I would do, I'm going to probably leave them, is I would probably get a circle and I would, you know, X it out of there. Um, slice it out. But I'm going to leave it in get this back to zero. But if you'll notice on this side over here on your canvas, this is showing you all the layers that are in here. So this picture is made up of a lot of little layers. We don't want those layers to be separate when we go to make it because our 
Cricut is going to go a little crazy. So all you have to do is highlight it and hit weld. And look, all my pieces will now become one piece. And now we're ready to make it. And that's all we have to do. Now see, that was really easy, wasn't it? Really easy. So guys, get out there, go find a picture that you want to convert to an SVG file, and pull it up, convert it, and then cut it. Okay, see you guys later. Happy crafting.